Back to the movie theater again, and he's like, hey, no food! And she's like, oh, oh man. What's she about to do? She just drinks all of her soda and just throws that bad boy in her empty cup. But her friends are like, whoa, what? See, I don't have anything, I just have a drink. Wasn't it no food or drink allowed, but they're allowed to go in with the trip? I don't understand! Back at it with these double standards! Anyway, so her friends see it and they're like, oh my god, we have to try this. It's like, what the heck? It turns out they're just putting their sandwich inside the, the cup of Coke. They're, they're laughing, we're laughing, you're laughing, then the toaster laughs. I shot the toaster, he's like, go on ahead. Oh, these girls are so dumb, they're gonna have a soggy sandwich. And indeed, they definitely had a soggy sandwich. I don't understand, this is so weird. Why did the guard just let him in with the sandwich? It just makes no sense. Okay, so he's like, come here. He's like, oh, snacks. No, no snacks. Put in confiscated bin. Wait, 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 wait. So that other guy got kicked out of the airport, but this girl just gets to put her stuff in the confiscated bin and like get just go through. I don't understand. I feel like there are some double standards here, but anyway. And now we're on to this girl. Oh, you remember this girl from a little while ago? Hey, my eyes are up here. He's like, oh, yes. <laughs> hubba hubba. How's it going? Uh, yeah, you can go right on through. This guy didn't suspect a thing. He's, he's being fooled. But little do we know, she's actually sneaking some stuff in. First you're gonna wanna get a plastic bag and get a little piece of parchment paper behind it. Cut a little slit, put a hose inside of the slit just like that. Uh, hot glue that hose right back on. Fill up your bag with coke. Put that bad boy inside your bra and uh, wow. She's like, what are you sucking on? It's just Coca-Cola. She's like, wow. Oh my, and then they're both just drinking their Coca-Cola. Cheers. Wow. Wow, I can't wait to see if this one works. Okay, so here's our bag. Here's our hose. Can we put a little bit of parchment paper inside this bad boy? Poke a hole. But I don't think this needs to be too long. Go ahead and put that in there. Hot glue. There we go. Wait for that to cool off. Okay, now that this is all cooled off, we'll go ahead and get our Coke. And just carefully fill this. Oh, don't need that anymore. Oh, here we go. I really hope this doesn't leak everywhere. I should have probably put the straw in a little bit farther, but you know, it's okay. Wow, we have our subs now, a bag of Coke. Okay, I'm going to test it out. Wow, it's actually working. Oh man, I should have made two of these. It's okay, this one's working and I trust it, so. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bag up with uh, soda as well. Yeah, that looks like a, about even, right? Now time to try and put these in our bra. Luckily, Tori let me borrow her bra again. That was very nice of her. Oh, oh. Tori, how am I supposed to put this on? You're so small. Like this? I tried this last time and she said I did it wrong because I tried putting it on like a shirt. Like, what am I supposed to do, step into it? Ah, that hurts so bad. Oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, okay. Put my sweater back on, put one bag inside the bra. Uh, okay, good enough. Now for the other one. I have to be careful with this one. How the heck, straw? Yeah, this is so strange. Oh, wow, yeah. I wouldn't notice this at all. And I can just drink from my right um uh, chest. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one works. It's a pretty efficient way to store Coca-Cola. Delicious. This is what it looks like <laughs> without my shirt on. That's so wacky. My goodness. Anyway. Okay, so this girl comes up and all of a sudden he just grabs her by the back of her hoodie. That's kind of sketch, right? Like, I don't think they're allowed to actually touch you like that. And she's like, okay, here's my soda. Don't be so rude. And this girl comes up. He's like, okay, nothing suspicious here. But little do we know, she's hiding something. What's that straw? So first thing you're gonna want to do is cut a slit in your hoodie. Then you're gonna want to hot glue some Velcro on there. Then you get yourself a nice wine nozzle. I know that's a wine nozzle, okay? I'm not gonna tell you how I know that's a wine nozzle, but that's totally a wine nozzle. And then you get your bag with juice. Yeah, okay, Crafty Panda. You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> Just slip it right into your hoodie hole, Velcro it back up, and boom, bam! You got yourself a free drink into the movie theater. And it's super convenient. Wow! I love it. I absolutely love it. And I wanna try this one. Actually, 
I think I can try this one. Oh my gosh, I'm totally gonna try this one. Let's do it. Ooh, okay guys, so here is uh, our hoodie. This is uh, one of my favorite hoodies, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is where I live. So now we're gonna make ourselves a secret uh, hole that we can hide things in. That's cool. Grab our scissors, make the incision right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then we get our Velcro. That looks about the right length. Boom. Stick that in there. Next one. Wow, it's like there's nothing there. Open up your Velcro. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, and for the water pouch, I'm actually just gonna use this weird water backpack thing that I got a while ago that I never used. Uh, don't eat that anymore. Wow, that's pretty neat. Let's see if it fits in here. Oh no. <laughs> I should probably fill this first actually, oops. Okay, all filled up. Let's see if we can put this thing in here. Get in there. You got this. It actually fits. Looks like a weird scuba diving apparatus. Okay, yeah, uh, let's try it on. Oh, okay, off with one tie-dye hoodie. And on with another. Okay, yeah, how's that look? Not too suspicious, is it? Oh, don't mind me. I just have my hoodie on. Okay, let's see if it actually fits over my head. Oh, that is, is it leaking? Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, so we're just chilling. I don't know, yeah, I can see that not being too noticeable. And then this one just has a little spout thingy right here. That sounds so weird in my ear. I got water! Well guys, this one's pretty discreet. I'm gonna have to say that this one works. So for this one, you're gonna want some sugar. It's actually water gel. Just replace the water gel. Now you're gonna go ahead and replace the sugar with the water gel. Then when your friend goes to drink his morning coffee and he adds all that sugar, it's gonna turn into a slime. So when he goes to drink it, nothing will come out. What the heck? Whoa, oh, oh, this is, what is this? So weird. I don't know, man, I don't know. Yeah, I could see this one totally working. Okay, guys. So, uh, I couldn't exactly find water gel for sale anywhere local, uh, so I think the closest thing that I, I'm gonna find are diapers, actually. So the way that you do this is you take the diaper apart like this, take all the stuff out, and then you just gotta shake it until you make it. Then you have all these little crystals. And yeah, this is what water gel is, I'm pretty sure. This just like absorbs liquids really well. That's why they put it in diapers. They also put it in puppy pads. They put it in a lot of things. You just gotta shake it out of the cotton. Okay, now it's time to do that with all these diapers. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, that looks like it should be a good amount. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep the rest of it into this plate. There we go. Oh my, oh my goodness. That's a lot of water gel. Okay, let's go test this out on Tori. Okay guys, so for this one, I went ahead and put all the water gel inside of a little cup for her so it looks like sugar. And then I made her tea because Tori and me aren't really coffee people. Okay, let's go give Tori some tea. Oh, Tori Dabransky. Hello there. Hey Bench, how's it going? Hey, I made you some tea. It's your favorite tea in the whole world. Thank and you. I know you just love tea. Is it hot? Oh, it's very hot. Uh, here's some sugar. I know you really like sugar. I'll, I'll, I'll just pour it all in. I'll pour it all in for you. Because I know just you. you're just a really big... Can I mix it? Yes, make sure to mix it. I just know you're a really big fan of sugar, and that's the amount of sugar. No, Tori, what are you doing? That's just sugar. Tori, come on, mix it up. Just mix it up. You just gotta mix what it. What did you put in my drink? Tori, I didn't do anything. It's just sugar. Oh. <laughs> Tori. <laughs> I don't, that's I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Tori, that's just what your... happened? What's going on with this this tea? <laughs> I can't drink my tea anymore, but I can try to eat it. No, don't, Tori, don't eat it, please. Don't no. Eat it. No, I wouldn't eat because it. Because you've been pranked. <gasps> what did you put in my jar? No. That's water gel, aka diapers. It's the stuff inside of diapers you that put makes it. Diapers? No, it, it's inside like, of my tea. It's the stuff that goes inside of diapers. you give it to me? It's the stuff that goes inside of diapers. Oh, I guess that makes it what better? And not the poop part. How weird! I didn't know it worked like that. Yeah, that's so gross, but kind of cool. It's on the floor. Is it okay if it's on the floor? No, we don't. Or have do we that. need the boom button? This is so gross. Where? How did you get it? Did you just buy I just diapers? Took, I just took a bunch of diapers apart. Okay. <laughs> You've been pranked! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Wow, isn't that fun? That's it's pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty good. Science. Anyway, I'll see you later. Yeah, I can help you pick up my diaper.
diaper bag? Nope, I'll see you later. Okay, so for this next one, you're gonna want a laundry bag. Cut the whole top off, glue it to another one just like that, put it together. Then you're gonna wanna get some felt and make some eyes and a mouth just like that. Glue them onto your laundry bag. Go ahead and cut some armholes and glue some arms on this bad boy. Originally, I totally thought that this was a Kool-Aid man. When I saw this, I was like, oh yeah! But it turns out it's not actually the Kool-Aid man. It's actually a wacky, wavy, inflatable arm man! Woo! Classic. That ought to get you into the party. And the best part, when you're dancing, you're just dispensing all this candy out of your arms. Oh, whoa! So much candy. You're gonna be the life of the party. Everyone's gonna love you. Okay, guys. Let's try it. Woo! Okay, so unfortunately I couldn't find any red one of these guys, but I did find pink, so it's gonna have to do. So first I need to cut the bottom off of two of these. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna glue these together. Careful, don't burn myself. Don't burn, oh God! Oh, so much hot glue. Oh my goodness, okay. Line them up. It's okay, it's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself. Remember that meme? Yeah, that's pretty well stuck together actually. Cool, let's start on the head. So it also says to use felt for the eyes and mouth, but instead of using felt for the eyes, I think I'm just gonna use these giant googly eyes instead. I think that makes it a lot better. So I guess we just have to cut out our mouth. That's not bad. I kinda like how one eye is slightly higher too. Go ahead and glue these suckers on. Before I stick this on, I just want to say I kind of like how he looks like a cyclops. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. This could be my new thing. It would be really hard to film videos in this though. Now I have to glue the head to the body. Okay, here we go. I hope I don't mess this up. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh it's so hot, it's so hot. Wacky wavy inflatable arm man! Now I have my very own. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with you, uh, wacky inflatable worm man. Oh my gosh, this is so cool actually. Woo! So instead of hot gluing sleeves onto this guy, I actually bought a pink hoodie that I could just wear while I'm inside of it. I think that's even better, plus I get to have a pink hoodie after this. I still have to make the holes for the arms though. So that means I have to get inside of it to see where the arms are. Oh my god, this is so scary! I'm getting claustrophobic. Okay, here we go. I think one arm hole should go here. I'm not inside, so I can't really tell. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing off. Oh, that was a bad idea. Wait, I think it's way too high. Oh no! Okay, so hopefully that side works. Now for this side. Woo! Now to put on the pink hoodie. Oh, I made sure to get an oversized one. That way I get like the wavy arm look. You know what I mean? Okay, let's hope I don't regret this part. I feel like I'm gonna get stuck. Too perfect. I just wish I cut eye holes. I can't see what the heck I'm doing. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I'm gonna be the wacky wavy inflatable arm man. You ready? I'm gonna go full wacky. I wonder if I can make it look like I'm dancing. Oh my god. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this costume works. I kind of love it actually, I just wish I could see. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving this costume. I'm gonna rate it 9 out of 10. Good job guys. Okay, so you're in class and you're just listening to your teacher and all of a sudden you're like, I'm bored so I'm gonna play ball with my friend. He's like, hey, what are you doing? Don't play ball in class. And it hits the computer monitor. Oh, you broke the monitor. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry teacher. I, I can never forgive you. Just kidding, it's a prank. Wow! Oh, wow! Oh my gosh, this one is totally a classic, but I don't think I've ever tried it out on Tori. Let's see if she actually falls for it. Okay guys, so I'm in me and Tori's room, and uh, there is our TV. And luckily, we have something called Chromecast, and I can literally cast anything off of my phone onto that TV. So what I'm gonna do is look up broken screen. Let's see, what do we got, what do we got? Ooh, that looks pretty broken. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and cast that. Oh my gosh, my TV is simply destroyed. Okay, now let's test this one out on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! I'm really sorry. Uh, I accidentally, me and Ben were playing with uh, 
we were playing with this ball, and I ate the, the ball hit the TV right there, and now it's broken. Oh my god, oh no. Tori, I just, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, I broke the TV, and I know we split this TV, and it's a really good TV, but Ben's just sorry. Benjamin, did you break the TV? It's okay. Tori, what are we gonna do? This TV was so expensive. We'll just have to get a new one. It's okay. You make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Wow, you're such a understanding and loving girlfriend, and I really appreciate you. Oh. It's okay, Robbie. And also, you've been pranked! I just casted it to the screen the whole time. It's not even real. Look at that. Wow, it looks like it's okay. Good thing I didn't yell at you. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Tori. No problem. Did you fall for it? Sure. <laughs> I thought it was broken the whole time. Well, guys, you heard Tori. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Yeah, it works great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you go up to the movie theater and you're so injured. Oh my god, oh, that, that you poor thing. You broke your arm. You broke it here, here, and here. What? Poor, poor thing. Oh, let me kiss it. What a nice movie guard person. I don't know what your job is. FBI agent? Hey, but you guys, you have to put your stuff in here. Okay, we will. But you know what? He's been swindled. That's not a cash. It's a candy stash. Not to be confused with a candy mustache. Oh, I'm gonna try and make a candy mustache out of these sweet tar ropes. This was a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, I haven't had candy in so long. This just reminds me I need to go to the dentist. Okay. Well, I guess we're trying this one. Okay, so fun fact, guys. I actually keep a first aid kit right next to my fire extinguisher. Oh, you know, that way in case uh, it hits the fan. All we really need are these uh, bandages, though, so... Uh, <laughs> So here's our candy, here are our bandages. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get our candy and start wrapping our arm. Oh my gosh. This is a lot harder by yourself. I think if you do your own hand, you're supposed to start like this, and then you go down. That's for your wrist. For your arm, it's a little more tricky. I'm gonna take off my watch. Here we go. So I'm just gonna start it off like that. Oh my gosh. Start it off. Now I'm gonna slowly start putting the candy in. Just like that. Yeah! Wow. It looks like this is kind of working. Let me just kind of tuck it in there. Boom! Oh my god! I broke my arm! I'm so injured! Oh! Wow. And when you want your candy, all you gotta do is unwrap it. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say if this one works. Proven method to sneak candy into the movie theater. You're welcome. Or rather, thanks Crafty Panda. Is to do it just in plain sight. Look at this, she literally just glued the candy onto her glasses, made jewelry out of it. This will never, oh, oh wait, it did work. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Wow, you know, I had my doubts, but Crafty Panda, you won me over. I'm pretty sure this will work. I definitely have to try it now. So normally I would just stay true to the craft, but today we're gonna mega craft it. Mega craft! Because we all know that giant sunglasses are not suspicious at all. So I'm gonna break out some Skittles. And they didn't really say how they attach the candy to the glasses, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a hot glue gun. One down, only like a hundred more to go. Wow, these actually turned out pretty cool. Let's try them on. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Dude, I actually love these. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna wear these for the rest of the video. And we even made a pair for Toby. Woo! I look so cool now. Thanks, Ronnie. This isn't suspicious at all. It really isn't. Now let's try some of this candy. Mmm, it tastes like hot glue. But that's to be expected when you use hot glue to put it on. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Is your rent way too big? Just add some coins to make it fit. Whoa! That's actually working perfectly. Simple, to the point, I like it. Let's do it. Okay, so first I'm gonna need to make a hole in this wood so that I can screw this little bolt in. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna put it in the hole and hand tighten it. Oh no, I can't get it in any farther. I need a wrench. 
wrench. But the only wrench I have doesn't fit it. Oh man, what am I gonna do? We go ahead and grab our coin and just, uh, you know, just slide it right inside of it. Oh wow, this is actually working. Yep, it's screwing right in. It's screwing right in now. Oh man, that, this is awesome. It's screwing right in. It's kind of hard to do this though, because then you have to hold the coin in place. And that's a little annoying. I'm doing it. Yes, it's working. Wow. Well guys, if you ever in a pinch and you just have too big of a wrench, I guess this would absolutely work. So I guess, I, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. So here's how you make yourself some giant Christmas lights. What you're gonna need is some balloons, blow those puppies up, then you get some rope, and hot glue it onto some cups. Then you carefully super glue the cups onto the balloons. Do it a bunch of times and boom! You got yourself a bunch of giant Christmas lights. This one also looks really cool, but I don't think that it'll last very long because they're balloons. They'll eventually deflate. But for a day or so, that's really awesome. Uh, so let's try it. I still have one more case of balloons and this balloon inflator. This is actually leftover from the time that I filled 10,000 balloons with $10,000. If you guys wanna watch that video, you can click right here. If not, uh, just keep watching this video. Don't even worry about that video anyway. So first things first, I'm gonna need to blow up some balloons. Okay, one down, um, <laughs> a bunch more to go. Oh, okay, the, about this much should do. So now we're gonna go ahead and get some cups and some yarn. Then we're gonna glue this yarn on every foot or so. First one. Boop, boop, boop. Next. Okay, these are all done. All sticking together pretty well too. Some of the glue needs to dry still, but you know what? It's fine. Now apparently we're just supposed to go and take the balloon and glue it right onto the cup like this. I feel like this hot glue will literally pop it. Uh, we're about to find out. You ready? Oh, I really hope this doesn't pop it. It'll scare the heck out of me. Okay, you ready? One, two, and... Okay, we're good. Wow, it actually helped. One down. A bunch more to go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, we're all done. Let's put these bad boys on the tree. Okay, so this is how you make a giant pillow ornament. This actually looks really cool, really soft. I can't wait to actually own one of these things. So how do we do it? So the first thing you're gonna want is fabric. Then you cut it into a leaf shape and you make identical ones just like that. You sew them all together and then you should get a ball. Then you shove that ball filled with uh, cotton. That looks pretty good. Hot glue the top together. Then you gotta make the ornament top. So what you gotta do is get some fabric, cut it just like this, sew and fill just like the last one. Then you get yourself some fancy rope, hot glue it on, and boom, you got yourself an ornament pillow. It's so comfy. Yeah, I think this one looks pretty good. I'm actually really excited to do this one. So um, I guess we're gonna try it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get some paper. Why am I getting paper, you ask? Well, I'm gonna explain that in a second. Calm down, okay? Then I'm gonna go Go ahead and tape some of these papers together. Boopity boop. Other side. Okay, it looks good. Then we're gonna go ahead and get this shape from the video. And we're just gonna trace it because they didn't give us uh, the exact dimensions of this. I'm letting Tori use the monitor that I usually use for tracing stuff and the one that I don't care about. Uh, so I don't have it right now, so I'm using this one. Oh no, it's just a little bit too short. Oh well, it's good enough. Or maybe I can turn it. If I turn it, it just covers it. You guys are probably cringing right now because I'm doing this to my monitor. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Okay. Awesome. Now we go ahead and cut it out. Clean and efficient. My favorite way of cutting things. Then we break out our fabric. I got nice and shiny fabric. Ooh. Just gonna lay it out nice and flat. Make our outline. Okay, now I just gotta make six more. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so now that we have all these marked out, it's time to do some cutting. Here we go. Okay, one down, five more to go. Uh, let's do this. 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 Okay, we're all done cutting them out. Now let's break out our sewing machine. This is Tori's sewing machine. I'm just hoping that I don't mess it up. She showed me how to use it, and uh, I actually broke her last sewing machine, so I had to buy her this one. Anyway, let's do some sewing, shall we? Uh, 
out of the top. Okay, here's our shiny fabric. I got this because it's supposed to look like metal and uh, I got way too much of it. I got way too, I got way too much of this. Anyway, we're gonna lay it out. We gotta make these shapes right here. So uh, I, they, again, didn't give us dimensions on anything. Like they literally could have given us dimensions on this, but uh, we're just gonna guess. So I'm thinking it's like, that's probably way too long. I don't have a shorter ruler. Well, I have a solution. Perfect. Boop -boop -boop. This looks about the right length. Now we gotta make the circle. I think I'm just gonna use one of these rolls of tapes instead. This looks like it'll about work. Here we go. And a one, and a two. Perfect, now we're gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy out. Okay, yeah, these look uh, look pretty good. Take all the excess off. Now we gotta somehow sew all these together. <sighs> Sewing is so hard. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more complicated than what I'm used to. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now that I got this all sewing pinned up and uh, in the shape that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and break out our sewing machine again. Okay, let's hope I don't mess this up. done with all the sewing, it's time to try and flip these guys inside out without uh, breaking them. I should have probably made a bigger hole for me to flip this inside out, but uh, oh well. If I could even find it, I think it was right here. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Oh my, I messed up. I definitely messed up. What have I done? All you professional sewing people are probably just laughing at me right now. Oh my goodness, come on, get in there. <gasps> We did it! Well, almost, almost. Yes! I did it! Oh my gosh. Wow, that actually turned out a lot nicer than I thought it would have. Now for this one. I was actually responsible and I made the hole big enough in this one. There we go. That's a lot better. Now to fill these bad boys with some polyfill. Wow, this is actually turning out kind of cool so far. I definitely think I need to keep filling it out though. It's definitely not the most round pillow in the world, but you know, it's fine. It's kind of lumpy. This thing takes a lot of stuffing. Wow! Now I have to stuff this little one. Ugh, oh, this is gonna take forever. Okay, so this uh, this turned out uh, similar to what we want. <laughs> I think I might have overstuffed it a little bit. I don't know. It, it's 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 close. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our rope. Start right here. We're gonna work our way up. Oh! Oh! It's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself with the hot glue gun. You know what? It's not as pretty as theirs, but it'll have to do, am I right? <laughs> oh no. Well, I tried. Put this off to the side, now I gotta sew this bad boy up. I can't really use a sewing machine, so it looks like I'm doing it by hand. Oh, there we go, it's all sealed up. Oh man. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This will be the top. Ooh, it looks pretty good. It's kind of like a giant blue pumpkin almost. Now apparently we just have to hot glue this onto this big boy. Here we go. Just let the hot glue cool down. Okay, and this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? We got ourselves a giant pillow ornament. I definitely think I could have made this part a little bit smaller. Uh, and it, it definitely looks like a giant blue pumpkin. Wow, it's the perfect pillow. But besides those two little flaws, I'm gonna I have to say that this one totally works. And now I have myself this cool pillow. Whoa, I'm pretty impressed with myself. This is like the first time I've ever really used a sewing machine without breaking it. <laughs> anyway, dude, nice. So here's how to sneak candy in with your tutu. Step one, get a tutu. Next, get some candy. Put some paper clips on the back of it and just paper clip the candy onto the tutu. It's that easy. Okay, let's try it. So here's our tutu. Open this guy up, break out our chocolates, and just paper clip them on there. Let's see, is it really as easy as they say? I feel like I need to make a small slit in this. Boobity boop. Ah, oh, yes. Clip it on. Whoa, it's actually staying. Okay, now we just have to do uh, all around it. Oh. 
Yeah, this looks uh <laughs> interesting. Uh, I guess it's uh time to try this bad boy on. I am sort of questioning if this will actually fit. It is a small in children, so I mean. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Oh, we're losing candy. I don't know if I can get it all the way above my hips. I'll try my darn best. Yeah, this definitely isn't suspicious at all. The only downside to this that I can really think of is if you move too much, they all sort of just fall off. But other than that, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. To make yourself a fancy screw organizer. Get yourself a mason jar, take off the lid, and just screw the lid right to a board. There you go, wow! Just put a bunch of different mason jars in there, put in all your screws, so many screws! And all you gotta do is screw your mason jars right there. Wow! Perfectly organized screws! I love this one, and I think it would make a great addition to the craft corner. Let's try it! So I actually have a lot of screws laying around. Yeah, I kind of have a lot, and they're just kind of everywhere. So I think this could actually be pretty handy. Here are our mason jars. These look like a good size. Now we just gotta fill them all up. Okay, yeah, these look pretty good. And what's funny is I didn't even count how many screws I needed, so wow, I'm pretty impressed with myself. On to the next part. Okay, so a great place for me to put these would be underneath my little side table right here. I can already imagine just having them right here, or maybe back a little bit. I think maybe back a little bit. Yeah, that would be good. Nice and out of the way. All I gotta do is look under my desk, and uh, oh my gosh, I got screws. Oh, okay, so here are our lids. Here's our drill. And it's gotta screw them on. Yeah, I kinda like how that looks so far. Now all we gotta do is take these jars and uh, screw them up here. Oh, that is, that is solid. Okay, so it's all done. Now if I ever need screws, I just go underneath here. I just look and see which one I want, and I unscrew it. Awesome. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. It's a pretty handy way of uh, organizing things too, actually. 